Hello, everyone, this is the Developing China. Welcome to our channel. In this channel, we can learn about the latest news and information about China. As we all know, China is growing into a strong country. The changes of China are the hot issues in public eyes. So we want to take you to feel about these changes. That's the reason why our channel exists. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. Today, let's focus on the issue of can China easily overpass the US via these Chinese texts before 2030? Around the world, China and the United States have become the two mainly concerned countries, and then their competition in science and technology is especially fierce. China producing 250 million computers, 25 million automobiles, and 1.5 billion smartphones in 2020, has surpassed the United States in number to become the world's scientific and technological power. In the next 15 years, 5G will add an economy the size of India to the world, most of which is on track to be in China. China now represents the world's largest 5G market, with 5G connections in the country accounting for 87% of global 5G connections by the end of 2020. In fact, almost all key indicators support projections that China will dominate the future of 5G. Not only 5G, Chinese artificial intelligence, quantum information science, semiconductors, biotechnology, and green energy have surpassed the US in some competitions and become a serious competitor in the foundational technologies of the 21st century. On current situations and technologies, I believe that China will overtake the US by 2030. American rivalry in technology is the main arena of competition with China, as the former CIA director said. Eric Schmidt, one of America's most respected leaders in advancing and applying technology, who led Google to become one of the world's top tech companies, has said many Americans still have an outdated view of China. Unless these trends change, in the 2030s the United States will compete with a country that has a larger economy, more investments in research and development, better research, a wider deployment of new technologies, and a stronger computing infrastructure. To take stock of the state of the technological career, the Belfer Center for Science and International Affairs at Harvard's Kennedy School has released a report detailing the progress made so far by the United States and China on every key technology of the future. Mainly in the following aspects. Artificial intelligence, which is the most advanced technology, is likely to have the greatest impact on the economy and security in the next decade. Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt states unambiguously, China is now a full-spectrum peer competitor. In fact, China has already overtaken the United States to become the undisputed number one in the world in many fields of AI. In speech technology, Chinese companies are outperforming US companies in all languages, including English. The world's leading voice recognition startup, Chinese enterprise iFlyTech, has 700 million users, nearly double the number of people talking to Apple's Siri. In financial technology, WeChat pays 900 million Chinese users vastly outnumber Apple pays 44 million in the United States. While two-thirds of Americans still rely on credit cards, 90% of urban Chinese primarily use mobile payments, spending $150 on mobile platforms for every dollar Americans spend, totaling $42 trillion in 2020. In facial recognition, there is no contest. Meanwhile, China's SenseTime and MegVI have developed cutting-edge apps like Instant Facial Recognition, which can identify individuals from China's population of 1.4 billion in seconds. Financial markets reflect these realities. Six years ago, two of the 20 most valuable internet companies in the world were Chinese, today, seven are Chinese. Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Baidu, Alibaba and Tencent, the seven giants of the AI era, are divided on both sides of the Pacific. Of every $10 of venture capital invested in AI in 2018, five went to Chinese startups, four to US companies. Twenty of the ten most valuable AI startups in the world, seven are American and three are Chinese. In 2021, China surpassed the United States in overall AI appointments, with a 35% increase over 2019. In the most popular subfield of AI, deep learning, China has six times more patent publications than the United States. In 5G, According to the Pentagon's Defense Innovation Board, China is on track to repeat in 5G what happened with the United States in 4G. Despite advantages in 5G standards and chip design, America's 5G infrastructure deployment is years behind China's, giving China a first-mover advantage in developing 5G-era platforms. With increases of up to 100 times in speed, 50 times in reliability, and 10 times in device connections, 5G promises to enable new use cases that no one can imagine today. 
China is already pioneering cutting-edge 5G applications, including smart factory systems, digital twins for industrial applications, and the world's first 5G-enabled remote surgery. Where the 4G era saw Apple's iPhones, Google Android OS and Microsoft HoloLens connecting users to the tech ecosystem, 5G is about to be dominated by Huawei networks that offer ubiquitous connectivity for Xiaomi smartphones, Tencent smart city solutions and Baidu robot access. In quantum computing, quantum communication, and quantum sensing, three consequential subfields within quantum information science traditionally led by American researchers, China is catching up and, in some cases, has already overtaken the United States. Pioneered 30 years ago, QIS is a field long seen in the scientific community as a potential catalyst for revolutionary advances in science and technology involving large calculations, much faster communication, and precision measurement. China's milestones in quantum communication are impressive. In 2016, China launched Mishius, the world's first quantum-enabled satellite. Soon after, Chinese scientists created a record quantum communication link between satellites and an Earth station separated by more than 745 miles. And in January last year, China announced the creation of the world's first integrated quantum communication network spanning a total distance of more than 2,800 miles, longer than the distance from New York to Los Angeles. One expert expects Chinese government and military communications to turn black in as little as two to three years, meaning the US would no longer be able to listen. Compared to quantum computing and communication, quantum sensing is a relatively mature field where real-world capabilities are already emerging. This is particularly important for military capabilities, where quantum sensing has the most direct applications, including the ability to override stealth technologies and radar interference. However, in publications over the past five years, China ranked first in citations per article and in total publications on quantum sensing. As a central element of many everyday technologies, including artificial intelligence, computers, automobiles, and more, semiconductors are an essential driver of general use in U.S.-China technology competition. The United States retains its dominance of the semiconductor industry that it has had for nearly half a century, but this position has been gradually eroded by a lack of domestic investment and increasing competition abroad. Although the United States continues to lead chip design and semiconductor manufacturing inputs, its share of semiconductor manufacturing has fallen from 37% in 1990 to 12% today. Meanwhile, China's decades-long campaign to become a semiconductor powerhouse has yielded significant results in recent years. Although the mainland is not yet a competitor, as assessed by Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company founder Morris Chong, China has narrowed its gap in semiconductor production and design to just one or two generations behind major players. Over the next decade, China will become the world's largest semiconductor producer of mature technology nodes, and within 15 years they will be able to do it all on their own. With a threefold increase in its share of global semiconductor consumption from less than 20% in 2000 to 60% in 2020, China's growing domestic demand has provided national security and market incentives to expand its momentum in the semiconductor industry. China's national champion in semiconductor manufacturing, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, has consistently ranked among the top five foundries over the past decade, and its innovative 7 nanometer N plus 1 process in 2020 means its advanced manufacturing capabilities now rival Intel's. While China still relies on semiconductor imports to meet 85% of domestic demand, these recent achievements refute the decades-old conventional wisdom that China's semiconductor industry cannot catch up. In fact, by the best judgment, China is only one or two years behind the United States and Taiwan in chip design and five years behind Taiwan's TSMC in manufacturing. Biotechnology is the development of new technologies derived from discoveries in the life sciences, spanning various categories such as genomics, biochemistry, molecular biology, and more. Looking to this future, the United States is the undisputed leader in biotechnology, but China is fiercely competing across the spectrum of biotechnology R&D, and in some cases even winning. Four of the world's top 10 wind turbine producers are Chinese and control 40% of the global market, compared to 12% for the United States. These advantages in manufacturing have positioned China as the largest producer of solar and wind power, with more than three times the capacity of the United States in solar and twice in wind. In these new elements, China has a near monopoly on several of the key inputs needed for solar panels, batteries and other green technology, including chemical lithium with 50% of global production, polysilicon with 60%, rare earth metals with 70%, natural graphite with 70%, cobalt refining with 80% and rare earth refining with 90% of global production. And where China lacks resources domestically, 
it has secured them overseas. In short, although the United States has led the last half century of technological innovation and still retains dominance in several other technological fields, China has become a serious peer competitor in the foundational technologies of the 21st century and is likely to be a leader in these by the end of this decade. Now you should understand why President Biden said, if the United States doesn't continue to develop its infrastructure, China will overtake the United States. The president's fears may soon be realized. What do you think about that? Thanks for having your watching in this video. As for this video, how do you feel in this video? You can add your ideas or suggestions in the comments below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.